episode. Now today you meet the break because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to Bradford to see AJ over at Bradford to give AJ the meet the breakers experience. So let's meet AJ over at Bradford. I'm Colin the Ed and this is Colin the Ed meet the breakers. Great, so we're off to see a we're off to see AJ over in Bradford. I've never been to AJ's before. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna find when I get to AJ's. You know what I mean? I don't even know what radio he's using or out. I don't even know what radio he's using. I don't know what antenna he's using. I don't know what I don't I don't know no about his setup, but uh, is he wants me the breakers to come and do a do a do an episode on him. He's asked me on radio, he contacted me, he says, Colin, come and come and do a meet the breakers. And apparently there's supposed to be more breakers at actual that is at his house waiting to meet me. You know what I mean? So I can't wait to meet the Bradford Breckers. For years, for years, right, there, there was nobody on in Bradford. It went a little bit quiet. There were, uh, well, anyway, there didn't used to be a lot of people on in Bradford. And it used to be a quiet po a quiet place in West Yorkshire, on Rig. And uh, But just lately, there's like little pockets of Breckers springing up in Bradford. There's like Breckers starting to use radio again in Bradford. And AJ is one of them. And over my way, AJ is a pretty powerful station. So, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a ride up to AJ's of Fagley and we're going to uh, take a look at his setup and just uh, make sure he's, uh, he's doing his job correctly. We're going to give AJ at Fagley the Meet the Breakers experience. Just uh, climbing up the M606 towards Odsall Top here at Bradford in West Yorkshire and uh, obviously we're just making the climb now and when we get to the top at Odsall Top we're going to we're gonna we're gonna get AJ on radio. We're gonna get some directions to his uh, to his to his location, his QTH. We're, we're gonna get him on rig. We've got rig and car light. We've always got rig and car. So you know we, we're just we're just heading up we're heading up to the top of Odsall now. So that's about it. Just gonna have a signal, mate. AJ. Hello. 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 How we doing? Hey, it's Colin the Head. Hello. I'm just at Odsall Top, mate. Just coming off at S606, turning right towards Asda. Asda. Well, I don't tell you much about that area. I'll be underneath it, fucking counting pillars. What do you mean, counting what pillars? We know we haven't got a suspension bridge there. Ours is just on fucking stilts. You've got some deep tunnels, though. Yeah, yeah, I've got all sorts around here. <laughs> you carry on. Is that the AJ? Uh, no, that's my father, that one. Yeah, I know he sounds a bit like me, he's a bit queer. Sounds a bit strange. Yeah, yeah. You call his dad. He's all right, though, he's, all, he's all old Les. I call him Les, well, I call him Dad. Dad A650, as if I'm going into town, and then it's, it's on me right, isn't it? Well, you're asking wrong one for directions here, Colin. You, you're gonna have to check with somebody else on that one. So you don't even know where you live? <laughs> What use is... So, you, can't you direct me? Can't be shouting here, Colin. You don't give any directions, Liz. I don't know where he is. Where is he? Where are you, Colin? Right, so we've just come to Bradford and we're just here. We've come to see AJ. Right, so we're here at Bradford at AJ's. We're just gonna, we're gonna go meet AJ. Hey AJ, I'm Colin the Ed from Meet the Breakers. Hey Colin the How Ed. How are you mate? Alright, How are you buddy? Yeah, I'm not bad. Yeah? Mate. Welcome, welcome, come on inside. So we're just gonna, we're gonna take a look inside AJ's radio shack. So let's just put, let's see what AJ's up to today. And he's only watching Colin the Head on, on YouTube. As if AJ's watching Colin the Head on YouTube. I've got Colin the Head in stereo. What's going on? What's all on about? Right, this is the little shot. Oh yeah. This is the little shot. Cool. Oh, this is nope, here, Mark. Not special. No, nope, no special up here. This is no special. What we got? I've got the iPhone 756. I'll move the dogs out. I like that. A nice 756 Pro. It's not, it's not a Pro, it's just a 756, isn't it? Is it? It's not a Pro, it's the first one, isn't it? Look 
at that, the original, it's, it's an Icon 756. Is this? Well, if I had one of them, well, Hansen, automatic yeah, swire and peak reading power meter. What else we got here? You know, we've got, uh, we've a got BV131. To listen around Monster Analog. Right. I like your calling, your calling fans, AJ. You liking my turbo? Yeah, I'm just looking now. You, that's my turbo. You got it turned down into that? Yeah. 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 So that'll be doing about six watts into that. Six watts, no more. Yeah. I like, I like One this. 118 showers is a problem on that. Come and show us. You, you, I'm, right, I'm taking your station off. It's all right, man. It's all right. You know what I mean? No, we've got. A, we have got a problem with this radio. Right. Tell us about it. The screen's been replaced. Right. Right. The new screen gets powered differently. Right. Supplies don't work. Disconnected. So it's got a little buzz. Right. Did you Did you get that? When, yeah. When When I was talking. I couldn't hear a buzz. Nothing. No, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm not, not a buzz. Hard, only some people can hear it. I can't, if it, probably if I were in house I'd be able to hear it, but we were being in car mobile. obviously, a mobile coming in into Bradford, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah, get. Yeah, but it's got, it's got that problem, so we're not happy with it. You're not happy with it? Have you, have you how long you had radio? Uh, about, about three well, months, two months, three months. But it's had a decent setup like, so, you well, know. Um, we're trying. Quite, he's trying. Can you see the breakers trying here? We're trying. We're try. we do as best, Colin. So how much power are we running? We're running about 200 watts. Have we got it on meter? No, we've disconnected meter. Oh, we haven't got, got, got it running through meter. Dodgy patch leads from Pondy Fract, you know. You've got Pondy Fract Peter. Sold me dodgy patch lead. Why don't you make your own? Well, I did in the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dodgy Peter from Pondy Fract. Dodgy. Who's Peter? Who? Emsworth, isn't it? Pete from Emsworth, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. all right. Pete, I was talking yeah. to him this morning. Are they, Em? I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's have a look at these, Pete. I'll look at which, these. Which ones is it now? That's, but this is Pontefract Peter's soldering. Look, even the dog do not like it. This? That's all right, isn't it? Look, it's not bang on, is that? Yeah. Really good connection. Couldn't have done that better myself, I Colin. Absolutely fantastic. Big box leads. Yeah. So, you know, he's got so he's got an amplifier off Pete from Emsworth as a uh, as as AJ, and then and Pete and Pete's been giving him dodgy, dodgy PL plus man. You know what I mean? It's, it's bang out harder. We need we need one class, one quality. So that's Pete's linear. That's Pete's linear. Is that one? Yeah, man. You get warm. It's always getting warm. But with, with this turbo fan, we're, ha we're laughing, it calls We're going to start talking about your amplifier. Obviously, it's an RMKL 400, and it's a it's a 2012 revision. It is. It is a 2012 is. revision, same as my RM500. Which you need to take the back off, don't you, to cool properly? It's to cool properly. I don't know. Have, you, have you seen me? You've obviously seen my LAM video, haven't you? I've seen yours. Yeah, I've got yeah. a KL500, which is the one up from this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Had a, I've had a load, yeah. boatload of problems with it. Uh, yeah. And that just gets absolutely red mad right off. Do you, do, you, do you know when you're running it, AJ? Do you find do you get a lot of back swire into your radio? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Do you? Do you get, yeah, it gets yeah, saturated yeah. with RF. Yeah. 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. Which I've caused problems before. That's why I've gone through two or three. Yeah. So I don't, I don't rate them myself. Right. So no, you have, you're having problems with your RM linear. I'd I'd prefer to go back to that, mate. You, there you go. It's a target BV131. Plug in the wall. Runs fantastic. See what I mean? What we're, the, the, we're finding the pattern forming. RM amplifiers. You bang out of order, RM, doing what you're doing. You're getting a shit equipment. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Another, another example of an, an RM KL400 user. You know, he's not happy with this, this amplifier in this, this, in this breaker. No. It, it, I can just put my hand on it, I can feel how warm it is. Do your fans work? Yep. Can I put your fans no, it's on? Not plugged in. Not plugged in. Should have been on. But look at how Should've many fans on. he's got. Have you got one blowing into the back as yeah. well? And it still don't keep cool, does it? Not, nothing. Nothing. I, I, I use these fans. Right. On so, everything. Right. So you've, you've got cool, you've got cooling, got in, cooling. cooling in place. I can plenty see of that. Cooling. And it's still not keeping still cool. Still not doing it. And that's only two of my affordable fives in there. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it, 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 it's cooking hell out in it. Yeah. It's, it's, they're just don't, not doing it, are they? They're not doing it, mate. I bought a brand new one, £167. Right. Uh, RM503. Yeah, yeah. Blew it within a month. 
Are they a four pill or are they a two, are they a two pill? No, it's got nine in it. Are they, oh, nine they're MOSFETs. MOSFETs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's MOSFETs. it then. So they're not good amplifiers, are they? No. So there's not rubbish. just me having problems with them. Rubbish. Rubbish. So there's not, so there's not just me having problems with them. I've had, I, honestly, I've had about four of these sort of amplifiers. Yeah, and I've had just, is just issues. Issues, mate, just an issue after issue. And it's not like I'm over driving it. No. You know, I'm putting four or five watts into that amplifier at that last one I had, and it was factory standard. And uh, it just burning feedback resistors, and yeah. you know, it, pills are working. You know what I mean? The actual transistors are working, but the all stuff around it, you know, like your feedback resistors, your fuse stage, like I put in that video, they're just, they're just going to melt down on you. <laughs> And the old RM500s and KL400s didn't. So obviously, you know. No, exactly. The, the, the build quality has gone downwards <laughs> exactly. and price has gone upwards. Yes. Linear's got dearer and build quality, what you're actually buying, has got worse. Because there are no people who pay it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've got, uh, and they just take advantage of that fact. They're just, so they're just coining it and building it. Because they know one of them is going to last somebody about a year and they're just going to go and buy another disposable, linear. Disposable, yeah. Disposable yeah. amplifiers. It's yeah. just. They're just, they're, they're just, just shit. They're just shit, absolute yeah. Shit. I was just about to say that. They're just absolute RM linears are shit. Don't buy an RM linear. They're just shit. Yeah. Because I bet this baby gets warm oh, as well, does, doesn't it? That does. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. No, that's that's, uh, that's not plugged in that one. So for as viewers at home, we're gonna we're just gonna move on to a second amplifier here. We've got a, this is the transistor amp, obviously top, but this one underneath is a valve amp. If I remember right in saying that, it's a BV-13, it's a BV-131, it's a valve, it's a valve amp. So that's, that operates on obviously a valve, a tube, it'll have like a bulb inside and these babbies get red hot, these do run warm. But the run, RM gear just don't run, but they've done more power. So, you know, the price of power, it's the price of power we have to pay us breakers here, you know what I mean? So, yeah, he's running a very good setup though. What, what, what power supply have we got running all this then, AJ? We're running, we're running the old Astron. We've got uh, an 50, Astron. 50 amp Astron. Are we going to get down to this Astron? Yeah, we, we always like the 50 amp Astron. We never have I don't want to get any closer, I'm going to get my hand bit I know, off. dogs are going to eat Dogs are going to eat us, aren't they? Never. Can't we? Yeah, man, yeah, man, it's bang on this. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, let's talk a bit about your Gain Master. You're a Gain, you're a gain Master well, user, aren't I you? I am. I'm a, I'm a big Gain Master fan. Yeah. yeah. How do you find it? A lot better than the Antron. Better than the Antron. A lot better than the Antron. On the receive. On the receive. So you yeah. took it. Go on. I'll the, the other side, it didn't didn't affect nobody. Nobody signal went up to anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing like that. But the receive is absolutely fantastic. And for what it covers, yeah, it covers more than it says it's supposed to. The band, the band the receive, with. Yeah. Yes, very much. SWR, you find you can move across band and you swear yeah. ugly alters, does it? Yeah. Full power. Yeah, yeah. One point one. One point one. Mine's yeah. same. Mine's exactly the same. Rate it. I'm Never really had to do anything. No. Got, got mine out of the box. Put it up. Let, not even. Do, I just set it up to manufacturer's instructions. Put plenty of tape around it. And bop, bang on. Bosh. Done. Yeah. Yeah, that's no all listen it is. about. That's all it is. Uh, I think there are no. I personally think the Serial Game Master is a good antenna. I do. Yeah. I do. The yeah. only thing that I would say that I would alter from instructions is I'd allow more. You know, when you put your, your brass on top. Yeah. I'd allow more foot swing. Yeah, for Where slack it, on antenna. It says it yeah. says zero point two five millimeters, doesn't it? I put more. I put half an I, inch. I mean. put half an inch. Half an inch. Yeah. Half an inch slack on a Game Master to stop wire from snapping. Yeah. That's you know what I mean? I noticed the difference. I took an IMAX 2000 down, mm. uh, so obviously a bit better than an Antron, but uh, they're not all that either, to be fair. No, no. Uh, I took an IMAX 2000 down, and uh, I was getting a lot of noise, a lot of interference. You know, I get a constant five five pound of noise, yeah, yeah. and uh, I took me took that down and put a Gain Master up, and my noise has gone from a five down to a two. And obviously my receive's gone up as well, so the, my gain master is actually an improvement and I think on outbound uh, my signal went up 1s point, but it's that swire range you get with them, you know, they're, they're really good, you know, like you can just move from like 25, 20, well, 27 down to 25 megs and your swire only goes up like one point, you're yes, like, nothing. no other antenna can, can no, not provide that. that, no it can match it at the moment, there's no out of market that can, has got, that'll boast that sort of bandwidth. No. And I think that's a really good selling point to I'm at, to to Game Master. I mean, they're expensive. Hundred quid. Hundred well, quid. 100. I think I paid one twenty. One twenty. Yeah. And uh, the uh, but an eight two seven is hundred quid. Yeah. 
and you, you ain't got as good frequency coverage as what an IMAX has got. No. Uh, sorry, Game Master. So I call mine. Get stuck into that, AJ. Tell us I've all done, about that. I've done the modification on this this morning, Colin, because it had a broken uh, PTT switch on it. Yeah, man. So what we've done, we've actually cut down uh, an old nail. Right. Melted it in. So made it solid. Right. Cool. And there you go. It works. Yeah. It's uh... just needs a plug on it now. And, and we've got one to go and we'll be rocking with that. What radio so, is that going to be going on? Uh, that might be going on me, uh, me Ranger. Have you got a Ranger? We've got a Ranger coming back. Oh, you've got it coming back, so you haven't yeah, got it to hand. It's, it's a 2970 N2. That's one with linear on the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah power one. Tuned, tuned up. We're doing about 130 watts on FM. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But got very hot, but they get nice. on bottom. The heat sink yeah. go on bottom, doesn't it? Yeah, I've never had radio, one. Though. Never had one. Lovely. Never had one, but I've uh, a lot. A lot of people I speak to have had them twenty nine seventies. They were uh, the the rate them. Yeah. Better than twenty nine fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Now, well, now you've seen me set up, then, Colin. Am I going to get this business card then, or what? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I've got a business card. Do you want it signing? By any it's got to be signed. Oh, right, it's got to be signed. It's going on eBay later on. It's going on eBay later on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll sign this. Sign at five pounds. I'll, si <laughs> I'll sign this. Uh, this business card next Come to on. next to iPhone seven five six. Come on, it's got to be fully signed. Don't want no dodgy ones. I bet I've got. I bet I'm the only person that's got a, a fully signed. So you get second one I'm today, mate. Yeah, it's second one today. Yeah. So that's it. There you that's, go. You oh, sign. Meet the Becker's business card by Colin the head. Right. No, that's going in a frame on my wall. Is there that? There you Colin? go. Colin the head. Meet the breakers. There you go. Right. So he's using a game master. So you're going to talk about a game master a bit, uh, Paul, please, mate. Right, well, yeah, we're on the old game master, Colin. You no know, worries. It's not, it's not the best of poles, so we won't go into pole, but that's for the game master. Highly rated. Right. Very easy to, you don't need to swat it in, you know, straight out of the box. Easy to set up. Yeah. And, and that's your answer. Look at that, easy. Easy, simple fix. Yeah, man. Everybody can do that. Don't have to be a technician. Uh, this is the first game master we've featured in Meet the Breakers. You know, we, we, it's the first one we've actually physically filmed, isn't it? This is, this is the first serial game master that we've, we've, we've featured, and there are a new antenna on market. And a lot of people are buying them. I myself use one of these antennas. <coughs> and the, they are a cracking antenna, and they look nice and neat and tidy. They don't look out of place, out of sorts, and they do perform. Yeah, man, it's a good example of a game master, that, mate. Well, the only thing is, people worry about them because they bend. Obviously, yeah. an antenna is made to bend. They've so got top heavy issues, do you think? People said they're top heavy. Possibly, but I think it, that's the way it's been designed on that way. Yeah, on yeah. Purpose. I, I, I think they are, they, they are a little bit top heavy with regards to the, the, the sections aren't tapered in. No. They don't. And that's why you can probably see on that one there's a slight bend on it already. Yeah, you can see it in wind, you can see yeah. that the top end of the antenna and I can see how I'm not having a lot of pole up with this sort of antenna because they could quite easily snap. Yeah. Particularly at bottom section. Yeah. Uh, you can see it there, look, in wind. You see how it, it, the, the kink of her, you see it then? I can see it in a gale, you know, if you haven't got a lot of flex in your pole. Yeah. I'd advise you, I, if it were me, I'd have more pole up than that. That's, that's getting replaced, isn't it? I'd have, I'd have it on at least a 20 foot pole full up on them brackets. That's waiting to get replaced. Yeah. We've got a problem though, somebody nicked half his ladder here at Bradford. So Never. We're, going, we're down to half a ladder. So Never. We're, so we're struggling at the moment. Mm. Yeah, this, down. Is, this is Bradford for you. Mm, well, there you have it. From the horse's mouth, right? So that's uh, that's about it from Bradford and uh, and AJ here at Bradford. I'm Colin the Ed. It's been another exciting uh, expedition of Meet the Breakers. It's been great to come and come over to Bradford, come away from my hometown, and have a look at another CB radio ac uh, operator in action. I'm Colin the Ed. This is Colin the Ed. Meet the Breakers. Right. So we've been to AJ's. We've seen his setup and that, and we're just gonna. Just gonna go see you AJ, right, mate. Going. No worries. Right, nice right, to mate. see you, buddy. You're always right. welcome. No problem. Yeah. See you later, pal. All right, buddy. Take All care. right, mate. We've just been to see AJ over here at Bradford, and uh, you know, he's got a really good setup. He's got his Senna Nice Icom 756. He's got his Senna Gain Master. 
a nice Astron 50 amp supply, a KL400 and a BV131. And he's also got his set of Anson power meter. You know what I mean? He's got his set a really nice, uh, well, a really decent setup here in Bradford. You know, he, he's passionate about his hobby and he's passionate about CB. You know, it's been great to come and see AJ today over here at Bradford. He's doing a great job over here in the uh, the realms of Bradford. He's uh, standing, setting the standard here in Bradford. Is AJ for the CB radio operator. So all your CB radio operators that didn't come out to see Colin the Head today at Bradford, you've missed that completely. You've missed your chance. That was your chance, because I'm not coming back to Bradford. I'm not coming back. I'm only half of them. We got a one, t one chance only, and AJ at Bradford has, 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 has yeah. took it, he stole the show. We're all about all about AJ today, so you know you're lost, not mine. End of day, I'll be on more videos. You all won't. He's <laughs> <laughs> a great, he's a great. Well, he's actually a, a nice geezer. You know what I mean? He welcomed into his home and he showed us his radio and he, he was obviously watching Colin the Ed's world of every Colin the Ed's meet the breakers when we come in. So he's a dedicated fan of Colin the Ed. Yeah, that's about it. Colin the Ed, well, well, job well done over here in Bradford. 20 mile drive home, need some fuel. Need to go. Go, go, go. Catch you later. See you later, guys.